A dark day in the war between Israel and Hamas. Fox News' Max Diekneich has the latest on the strikes on a refugee camp in Gaza. Israel claims the strike was targeted. They say they killed a Hamas leader who helped plan the October 7th terror attack on Israeli soil. Hamas denies that. This video shows the destruction left behind after Israeli airstrikes hit the Jabalia refugee camp in northern Gaza. Eyewitnesses and medics say many people, including children, died in the attack. Israel says it repeatedly warned residents to evacuate the camp in recent days and blames Hamas for operating in civilian areas. Why was this Hamas battalion commander literally operating underneath a civilian area? They have no concern for the civilians. Meanwhile, the United Nations publicly criticized Israel for the attack. The international humanitarian law establishes clear rules that cannot be ignored. It is not an a la carte menu and cannot be applied selectively. It comes as Israel continues its ground invasion in Gaza. Troops and tanks marched into Gaza along with bulldozers clearing the rubble from Israeli airstrikes. Israel's military says it hit roughly 300 Hamas targets over the past day alone. They say ground troops are focused on targeting Hamas's extensive network of tunnels where it's believed to be hiding hostages. Israel also rescued a hostage from Hamas Tuesday as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu rejected calls for a ceasefire. Max Deeknight, Fox 2 News.